<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play One Shot. Last time we left off, we found the battery and gears needed to fly off from the Glen into the city. However, as we had plans to bring back Calamus and Alula and do other things, it turns out that the corruption got to the plane itself, and now we have a change of plans. We need to go find Rue, and hopefully fix things soon. I don't think it's safe to use this again, Pharaoh. No, it doesn't. So, he did mention that we gotta find a door under a large clock or something? I hope I can find that. I, there's one thing I remember, but I didn't think it was... I thought it was on the surface. Please do not approach... But I'm also hoping that, um, this is going to be a little streamlined, because, uh, well, we got things to do, and, like, how the Barons worked and how the Glen worked, they were pretty small areas this time around because of the corruption. Come on! Come on! Work already! All right, the elevator guy. I also go see what's up with him. Oops! Come on! Come on! Now of all times. Uh, excuse me. Huh? Whoa! You're uh, you. Oh, geez, I didn't think I was gonna run into. The elevator's missing a button, right? How'd you know? Um... Pharaoh and I will help you fix it. Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, the evacuees are counting on this. Well, on me. But, uh, I've always been here... I've been here for hours and can't figure out a thing. Evacuees? You know, from the West Apartments? The square stuff wrecked that place yesterday. Oh! Right now everyone's crowded in the cafe. I really want to get everyone to the surface as soon as possible, though. The library on the surface doubles as a shelter for situations like this. I see. Wait, didn't we find the magnets and stuff in the apartments, Pharaoh? The... what? Looks like we'll have to find some other way to fix the button, Pharaoh. Holy fudge! Looks like Pharaoh and I will need to find another way down altogether. But, this is the only elevator in the area. We'll think of something. Seriously, like, the hell? Uh, let me know if you need my help with anything. I may take you up on that. Then, for right now, let's just examine what we can. I believe this just leads to a room to sleep in. It does. Uh, nothing to do in there. Uh, they did mention that the West Apartments are totally taken over by the squares, and that's right here, and sure enough, can't even get there. Uh, the cafe, was it the top right or bottom right? Why don't I say the bottom right? Um, go ahead and check that out. Maybe talk to a few people there, and, uh... Cause, uh we need a coffee can, magnets, oh, actually, well, is that even gonna work now? We, we need... A whole new way, period, to get down to the surface. Oh! Hello, Messiah! You, um... You came at a bad time. The apartment in the West Sector got destroyed by squares a day ago. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, but at least the evacuees seem to be doing okay. We're letting them stay here for now. At least they won't starve here. The person who's in the cafe is an emergency shelter, huh? So, uh... Um, can I get you anything to eat? No, thank you. Even though I could go for some pancakes right now. There just isn't time. Oh, I'll make time for pancakes. <laughs> you know, I totally forgot. Um, and we had, I had a discussion like, what, what would I like better? Pancakes or waffles? And I mentioned pancakes because the waffles I tend to eat are pretty damn crunchier, you know? But it's like, well, waffles can be soft too. But I think I just like pancakes, period, a little bit more. I don't think there's really any rhyme or reason, really, just pancakes. And I'm not really a, a food person. 
or excuse me, well, food, or, duh, I'm, I, I need food to survive. I'm, I, I'm not much of a breakfast food person. Uh, do I even want to hear this again? Oh, it's that penguin. Hello. Yeah, there it is. Yep. <laughs> and once again, not gonna say anything. Same as usual, huh? Same as usual. Eh, to you too. Dang it! I just moved into my apartment. Now where am I gonna go? I hope yeah, you need your security deposit back. Bess is looking pretty bummed out about this too. There, there, girl. Uh, I think she'll be okay. Our apartment got evacuated while my parents were at work. I'm waiting for them to pick us up now. I hope they're okay. At least my robot's with me. I don't know what I'm gonna do without uh, what I do without CWT second gen unit 4E. Squares make the people evacuate. Evacuation makes a girl sad. Squares are bad. That's the. Uh, is that what the transitive property in algebra? That, that's kind of what he just did right there. Hey. Hi. Is it me or is it really cold outside? You know, now that you mention it, it is really chilly this time around, Pharaoh. Good thing you got a scarf, huh? Mm hmm. I guess you too, right? Scarves are great. If I had my stuff back, I didn't want for everyone here. I I don't wear scarves really. I should, especially during now the winter time. Ugh. Bummer. I had to leave most of my plants behind. This stinks. Sorry to hear. Oh, speaking of plants, I heard a gl uh, the glen is just covered in vines now. Is that true? Yeah. That plant lady was using them to keep the land from falling away. The plant spirit? Maze? I figured. Say, how's she doing? Mm. Uh, she's gone, isn't she? She said she was using up the last of her powers. I wouldn't be surprised. She always did her best to protect everyone. It's really a shame that the Glen is starting to erode so fast now. Soon, the world won't have much room for plants left. Besides from black clovers, I mean. Milk and sugar. I like both! But not in coffee. Coffee machine. It's nearly full. Alright. Well, it wasn't really beneficial per se to come there, but just nice to talk to the people. Um, you know, there is one other room here in, in the office area that we couldn't access and it was, just, it was a very confusing place. I'm like, what is going on with this? But We'll see. Or I'm going to take a look at a few things in here. I think there's a clock guy right here. There he is. Here we are at the 11th hour. Shouldn't you be with the other evacuees? Maybe. I wonder if the big clock has reached zero yet. I want to be right here when, it, when everything g ends. Good evening. Please leave me be. We're running out of time. Okay, I'll, I'll leave you be. Oh, look, the tape dispenser, that's all gone. Who took my stapler? Aww. Uh, Milton, is that you? Wait, was his name Milton? Crap, where the hell am I getting that name from? Either way, I, this is a, I'm pretty sure this is a huge reference to Office Space. Uh, <laughs> I still have to watch that movie. I, I know lots about it, but I never actually watched it, watched it. Some kind of computer terminal. Communications with the surface have been lost. I am unable to do anything. Well, that sucks. All right. So, nothing really to do here. Now, here's this one area I was talking about. Right up the stairs right here is that one room. And I'm sure the computer... Yep, the screen's off. This, we couldn't do anything with. Hey, what the fudge? Was this a timer? Odd. Alright, hold on. Before we check that out, I want to take a look at the... What is this called? The Outlook? Overlook? 
Observation deck. Just want to take a look here and see what's what. Um, I'm sure there's really nothing new, but once again, it doesn't really hurt just to take a quick run around. Um, but I am curious about that room now. Uh, it, it looks like it was some form of timer. Hmm. You know, I mentioned before that I'm going to be doing more research into this game after I'm done with this, and... Because this just seems kind of odd. If there's a timer, then what the hell is it counting down to? The door's locked. Looks like it's asking for a password. The word documents is in the screen is on the screen above the password prompt. Okay, well, you guys know what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna be heading off into my documents folder. Uh do do What time is it? I do have a document dot one shot folder, but it's from a week ago. Oh no, that, that's the uh, that was from the journal when we first played the game. That wasn't it. Um, hmm. I don't. I'm not seeing anything. How about if I, if you if you don't if you can't find, it, I guess the best place to to go is uh, check the date modified, or filter by date modified. Maybe you'll find something new. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, oh. I th think. Oh, hold on a minute. Let me change that again. So, remember the one-shot underscore password one, two, three, four uh, screenshots I showed you guys before? Um, it looks like they... Oh, wait, did it? No, it's the same. Okay. Well, either way, you guys remember we had those four documents, uh, and, like, it was basically, uh, like a letter from the author to us. And some of the words were, um, were highlighted or bold, and it spelled out solstice. I I think that's what it wants to do again. Even though nothing changed per se from what I saw last time, the date modified matches up with me right now. It's I think it's just telling me, hey, could you please put in the same code? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I mean, I know it's the word solstice, but this is a capitalization, so I'm, I'm not really sure about. So it's a capital S. What happened there? I think I pushed the wrong button. Z, damn it. <laughs> so capital S, capital O, and then that's all I see there. And then, sorry if you see my mouse, I'm just going back and forth between the documents. Lowercase L. That looks like an uppercase S. And then we have... Lowercase T. Lowercase I. And finally... Uh, uppercase C and a lowercase E. That, that worked, right? That worked! Perfect. Riveting gameplay. What the fuck is this? There's two doors. This what where are these? This one is green. This one's red. This one's blue. And this is purple? So what I'm assuming is here these are these three are meant for the three people not of this world or the simulation. I'm guessing green will be Cedric, maybe red is Rue, and blue is Prototype. And this is me! Um, let's... What the hell is going on here? Let's check this room. Elbrim won't open. Looks like it's stuck in another floor? Okay. And we'll check out this one, then. It has no button panel. Tapping the door doesn't open it either. Hmm. That usually works. Wait. There's a lever hanging from the ceiling. Can you get it? Can't reach it. 
We should find someone tall to reach it for us, Pharaoh. Um. Okay. So. We're making progress. Oh, did it lock up again? Did I, did I put in the password again afterwards? That's fine. Uh, at least we're making decent progress. It may be a little bit slow, but we're getting there. Are you tall? You may be. We're... Oh! The dude said, uh... The lamplighter. He said, if you need any help, just ask me. And I guess he's pretty tall. I mean, why not? I was gonna go back to the cafe, but... We found some elevators! What? Seriously? I've literally never seen another one in this area. It was in a locked room. Oh. Do they, uh, work? We don't know yet. One of them has a lever that's out of my reach. Wait, you can help us. What? You should be able to reach the lever, because you're taller than me. Oh, I guess I am. So... Show me the way, I suppose. Mm hmm Let's go. Alright, I'm glad I figured that out right before I decided going to the... to the cafe. I mean, once again, I wouldn't have wasted so much time, but... It's nice doing this all in... one shot. Eh, oh, that was bad, I apologize. Actually, no, I don't. You know, so, I know sometimes I hate puns, other times I don't mind making them. I'm weird like that. It wasn't really a pun, anyway, or was it? I don't care. I was, it was stupid. This room gives me the creeps, man. Oh, same! Yep. So, um... What'd you need me to help with again? Can you reach the lever up there? Alright, oh, uh... Wait... I'm not that tall! Well, it's worth a shot. Wait, I got this. Yeah, nice. Or right, maybe maybe you could just put me on your shoulders, but still. Nice. Thank you, mister. No prob, kid. So, coming? Mm-hmm. All right, here we are. Oh, neat. Well, looks like this elevator works all right. I'll, uh, go get the evacuees, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, I figured that was gonna happen. I was like, it's not, it's, he's not gonna get them, is he? Um, what's going on? No! It's the square stuff, isn't it? They aren't any, they aren't in here, but I can hear them just outside the door. Yeah. Hold on. Maybe Pharaoh and I can... No, 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 it's okay. Looks like the squares aren't inside the elevator. Yet... Yeah, you're... in a hurry, right? Go do what you need to do, buddy. But... what about you? I'll, uh... figure something out. Okay... Somehow I doubt that, but... Alright. He'll, he'll figure something out. So... This is a tower itself. I don't want to push X there, because that may continue in the game in a way I don't want it to. Let's see if this elevator works. It does. So, they're not entirely screwed, are they? But why do I have to come back up here, though? Oh, well, never mind. Because I'm sure eventually I need to come back here with Rue and all them. Okay. But I can't remember if, the, if there were elevators in the previous run of the game. There must have been. I just totally forgot. Please, you mustn't! The labs could collapse any moment now! Let go of me! Okay. Cedric? Did that door lock up? No, no, it's, it's still accessible. Okay. I thought I was going out with Cedric and the doctor. He... I couldn't stop him. Huh. Miss? Messiah! Oh, 
you came in an awful time. Come on, we have to get out of here. Where to? Where everyone else is right now. Well, 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 look who's back. How about next time you let me know before you leave the shelter to go into a literal death zone? Sorry. I get so worried, you know? Hey, you found a messiah! Yeah. We ran to each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. I couldn't stop him. I don't know why he was being so insistent. He said he needed to go rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Robot. That's why he needed that book so badly. Y'all talk about a kid with white hair and goggles? That's Cedric, yeah. He ran in here earlier, grabbed one of the books from the art from the from my archives and ran straight out the door. Without even going through checkout. The nerve of that kid! Um said it was an emergency, so I didn't bother stopping him. I hope he doesn't get himself killed out there. Yeah, I hope he's alright too. With any luck, maybe the lab complex can hold up long long enough for him to. Oh my gosh. It. That was. The labs? That poor kid! No! Not him, too! I'm. I'm sorry about your friend. The last time we spoke, he told me to go look for someone on the surface. I. I need to get going. Are you kidding me? Kid, there's no way we're letting you out there. But I really have to. George is right. The square seems to be targeting a lot of the weaker constructs in this city. Only the library has enough structural integrity to withstand collapse. It's best if you stayed here until things stabilize. However long that takes. But, but, what about my mission? Don't you guys want me to bring the sun back at least? The sun won't do us any good if the squares are just going to mess everything up. Sadly, not to mention, even getting there is going to be hard. If the world's like this, there's no telling what's going on in a tower. And if anything bad happened to the messiah of all people... No, I won't allow it. <sighs> a friend of mine said something about this forever ago. It's better for the world to die naturally. No living being should have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still her faulty code speaking, but now I'm starting to understand. Wait, her? Messiah, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. All this time, we've burdened you with our hope, our faith, blissfully ignoring the fact that you were just this lost child. Well, you're probably more scared than any of us, aren't you? We have been dealing with tragedy for so so long, it's become background noise to us now. But for you, it must be so terrifying. And now, you're stuck here with the rest of us, being held back by the very people you were told to save. We must seem so ungrateful. It's... okay. I... When I first came to this world... A long time ago. Back then, all I wanted was to go home. Pharaoh, do you remember? The very first time. I'm not sure how far back it was for you. Oh, about a week. But I remember towards the end. I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Even knowing the world would be doomed eventually, I still wanted the people here to be happy. So, when you told me to return to Sun back then, I didn't even question it. But then I just came back. You... what? And then I found out about the world being like this. <sighs> Prototype said to forget the things he told me. Cedric told me not to think about it too much, but I 
I'm sorry for getting upset at you back at the mines. I thought for you to know all that, yet continue doing this. Oh, Jesus, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I tried stopping that, but the sneeze had more control over me. Ugh. It just seems so cruel. But then I realized something. You really wanted to save both the world and me. But at the end, you can only choose one, right? Is it really hard for you too? It must be. If the world isn't broken, will that choice still be there? Do you still need to choose between one or the other? But even if it is, I really want to save this world, Pharaoh. Even if it's more dangerous this time around. Even if so many of the nice people we meet were... were... Pharaoh, I'm not afraid anymore. That's why I think you guys should let me go. I promise I'll be okay. Please? Well, I'm convinced. After all that, it'd be super rude uh, for me to stop you, wouldn't it? Well, if George is fine with it, I guess we should let you go now, Messiah. But promise us you'll be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. You guys be safe, too. Wow. Um... You know, Nico is pretty much on point what he said back there, how it's like you wanted to save both the world and me, right? And it's like, yep, and I said it out loud. Although we can assume that most people playing this game would have the same type of reaction. It's like, oh, no, I want to save both. Or maybe just, you know, or maybe some people said, no, nah, screw the world or screw, ne screw Nico, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I like that. I like so much character development in a little game. It's nice. Um, so, I mean, I should stop the video here, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and talk to the people here in the library, and then I'm going to end the episode. Please be careful out there. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, what book does Cedric take? One of my favorites, thank you very much. It's the author's book detailing the creation of Profit Bot. And by detailing, I mean it. There's a ton of detail in that book. Blueprints, progress shots. It took me forever to edit. Oh. So, I guess she doesn't have copies of that, unfortunately, but at least we know what he took. And something tells me Cedric's okay. I hope. Oh, all the vendors are in here too, I just realized. This seems. This stain smells sugary. Candy skewers fresh off the grill. Not very nutritious, I'm afraid. Nutritious. But at least they'll keep the evacuees from getting hungry. I don't even want to know if they even taste good. Candy skewers. Ugh, whatever. Can't think about it too much. It looks like my life's work is finally being put to good use. As long as we conserve the water we have on hand, my water pills should be able to keep everyone here from going thir thirsty for weeks. You know, now that everyone's coming, coming to me for help, it really makes me appreciate you more, Messiah. Thank you for all you've done for us. Well, you're welcome. Do you need something? Please approach from the front. Damn, okay. Just want to cut through. The archival room is currently being used as an infirmary. We apologize for any inconvenience. It's okay. So, can't do anything in there. The city gate was destroyed a while back. I can't, uh, I can't go into the glen anymore. I'm not sure where I'll be able to get my supply of fish at this rate. I still have plenty of these soup dumplings left. Looks like it should feed everyone here for at least another day. Only another day, though? Oh, man. That crap is not going great right now. I need to find out how this book ends. Um, if I die, I want to die reading. I, I mean, that that's passion right there. Oh, I didn't realize there were cats in this game. And I'm not even a cat person. But cartoon cats are awesome. Kittens. I, 
I, I just wish I was more of a cat person, you know, but, but every cat I've met has always been blah, except one. There was one cat, it, it was my buddy's cat, um, awesome. Every time you, like, pet him, automatic licking. And then, like, I fell asleep on the couch and he climbed up on my chest and just slept and purred. I'm like, aww. But, it, I do get a little bit of a running nose anytime I'm near a cat as well, so, there's that. Looks like I'll have to cancel my appointment. This stinks. Okay, that's a photo guy. You know, I finally saw the other today. Well, his flying machine at least. I was looking out from one of the windows in the library and spotted in the distance with my binoculars. Isn't that cool, Messiah? Yeah. At least that's finally off my bucket list. Robots are the only ones I can that we can send out there now. Thankfully, we still have a couple of units that aren't too badly damaged. This little guy ran into some squares earlier and managed to escape mostly intact. These newer models are pretty tough. Ugh. It's comforting to see the faith you have in Pharaoh, Messiah. That's why I won't lose hope either. Alright, well, that's good to know. I had to leave my aquarium behind when they were sounding the sirens earlier. I wish I had time to re re rescue my fish. Oh, I hope they're okay. Monitoring, monitoring. Looks like our scouting unit uh, number 827 is still doing okay. That's good. And this guy's just sleeping. And he'll just keep sleeping. Alright. With the world being the way it is now, I'm just glad the author was able to write down all of this stuff before everything went off the rails. His books are the only things keeping me going in these trying times. You gotta do something, right? Always, always keep hope. Another group of evacuees should be arriving soon. I hope my friends are okay. I hope they are too. Everybody looked okay. They just got, they just got to take the other elevator. I wonder where the author is. Apparently he just kind of stopped showing up. The head librarian says he'll, he, she's still getting his manuscripts, but no one has seen him in person in so long. Hmm. Many people have been assuming the worst. I hope the author is safe. Yeah, yeah. You're going through those pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. The author is an artist too, you know. I can tell, yeah. I just like looking at pictures. And I'm just gonna take a quick look at these books. I'm sure they're they're the same, but once again, it doesn't hurt to check. Although I can't. Was I not able to? I was able to view that the one before. How come I can't do it now? That, I, I guess it doesn't matter. And this is once again the same thing about phosphors. How? Um, Moderate levels, and this is low levels, or no, highest, and then red is low. And then there's yellow, that's amazing. When the world ends, would it be better if it, if it was gone in an instant, or slowly fading away? <laughs> Looks like we're stuck with the latter. Uh, because she, we met this person before, and they said, like, they'd like it better if we just snap. Um, what? are you doing to that book? Editing it. Editing it. <laughs> I've been in the author shadow for my entire career. If I'm going to die soon, I want to die knowing I put out at least one original idea out there. Despite all this, I still really wish I could have met the author. Just, yeah, I guess it's your guns. Believe in your passion. Mm. Ooh. That complex got totaled, didn't it? Yeah. All those hours I put into my work, and now... Now... She fell asleep. She's asleep. That's why the redundancy systems are in place for a reason. So even if something bad happens, uh... Data will still be there, in a sense. Evening news, evening news. Everything is terrible. <laughs> yeah. You're right there. 
Reading helps me get my mind off things. Yep. Well, your mind is a... Never mind. Yep, still scared of ladders. Hello, person. Hi. We're shelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. So nothing new there. And the douchebag is right there. This library was built fairly recently, you know. Shortly after our first squares appeared, they wanted to build something that could withstand partial collapse. The architects used the newest, strongest materials they had. Thank goodness for that. Everyone here should be safe for now. Yeah, for now. But I'm sure as I continue on, all hell's gonna break loose. Oh, hello! The library is currently being used as a shelter right now. Lots of those squares are starting to show up on the streets. I know. We're still waiting on another group of evacuees. One of the apartments on the other side of town got really messed up yesterday. Oh, you're not injured, are you? The head librarian has converted her room into an infirmary for now. If you need a place to rest, let me know. Or let her know, I guess. Y yeah, but I think I'm okay for the time being. Here's the guy who's mad at me. What? You need something? No. Suit yourself. But, just so you know, due to recent events, the restriction on noise levels in the library has been temporarily lifted. So I won't be kicking people out like before. Um... What? You think I'm going to be throwing out the evacuees just because I'm a delinquent stuck doing community service? No. Good. Because I'm not. This guy scares me, Pharaoh. Okay. <laughs> we don't have to talk to him anymore. Hello, person. This is a library tempor temporary shelter. Okay. Well, that's, um... I think it's everything we can do at the library for now. Once again, nothing really beneficial, but since we're here, might as well just talk to everybody, so. Uh, but yeah, next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will head out into the refuge and surface, and uh, I'm sure we want to take a look at all the corruption that's happening due to the squares, but also, hopefully, find Rue in a back alley. Um, and then, I guess, take things from there. I'm not sure how much longer we have left for this, because... According to how this was going before, it looks like I spent two videos in each area, pretty much. So, maybe the next video will be the finale finale? I don't know. We'll just have to see how this game kind of... ends, I guess. And then I'll do research and maybe add on to things at the end of the video. I'll see. But regardless, as usual, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time for Let's Play one shot. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.